evening guys. Um, we just got me tonight. Um, Donna's not too well and we left it a bit late to do something as usual. So it's just me. Um, I hope I'm not too boring for you but we're gonna today we're gonna just go through I'm looking up at the top rather than the lens. Um, today we're just gonna go through um, some changes that have come to Disney World and what I think about them. Um, just my opinion really on, on things that are changing so bear with me my list is just to just underneath the camera so I'll keep looking down a little bit but uh, the first one I want to talk about is Star Wars really um, um, I'm actually a fan of Star Wars uh, have been since I saw the original film when I was about four or five years old in the cinema um, love Star Wars really looking forward to the new Galaxy Edge um, from everything that's been said about it, being really immersive and stuff like that, I don't know how it's going to work necessarily um, because they're saying everyone's story is different and you'll have interactions with cast members about your story and, but it's going to be thousands of people going through it every day so it's going to be interesting um, excuse me, it's going to be interesting to see how it actually works but I'm really really looking forward to Galaxy's Edge uh, the two rides sound incredible um, the model and any concept art we've seen from from it so far looks looks like it's going to be a fantastic place. Uh, and obviously, recently I've just uh, said they're going to start doing the resort as well, which is going to be even more immersive than uh, the Galaxy's Edge. Um, I think the resort is going to be fantastic. The issue is with Disney always is the cost. Um, there are massive Star Wars fans and massive Disney fans. You put to go, the, you put the two together and you can charge a fortune, um, which is the whole point of the Galaxy Galaxy's Edge Star Wars Land. Um, you know, it's going to get another lot of foot traffic through, um, and with the result, they can probably charge um, Grand Floridian prices with. Uh, Port Orleans service you know what I mean it's, it's they don't have to go too far into it to be able to charge a lot for it so I don't think I'll ever be staying there because I just think it will be out of our reach but I'm sure it will be absolutely incredible um, the other one obviously which was announced at the same sort of time Gag said was the Toy Story Land um, really looking forward to this as well uh, the Slinky Coaster um, it looks a bit maybe some people say it looks a bit childish and a bit kiddie, kid friendly kind of thing, but it is Disney. Um, I think it looks really good. Obviously the track's all laid out. Um, recently saw, I think yesterday, we saw a picture of what the actual coaster's going to be. So we saw the, like, the slinky dog kind of thing. It looks really nice. From the concept art again, it looks uh, brilliant. The other stuff there, I can't remember what else is going to be there, but it's going to be some, uh, like a... Is it like a teacup you kind of ride if I'm rightly? Um, so it'll be interesting to see the rest of it. Um, the Slinky Coaster has been the, the main focus of the whole thing, so it'll be interesting to see the rest of it, see how how immersive that is. I keep talking about Star Wars being immersive, but how immersive will Toy Story be? Um, but obviously the films are really good. Another one coming out soon, next year I think. Um, it's, it should be interesting to go and see that, so I'm looking forward to that next year. Um, obviously one of the latest announcements at D23 was the Tron Coaster in Magic Kingdom. Um, saw early snippets of it when it got um, put into Japan. Looks fantastic, um, you know, especially at night with it all lit up. L looks very impressive. The only thing I will say is the same as is with passenger flight from what I've seen it's not really fat friendly um, the kind of seat you've got to sit in with the harness that comes over the back um, I don't I think it's going to be one of those ones that it's not going to be for us and especially initially over the next uh, year or two until we do shift a, you know a, a, quite a bit of weight um, it looks amazing like I said I'm sure it will it will look fantastic in, at night in the in the park but not sure if we'll be going on it um for the next few years and well how long it'll take to build it i don't know anyway but um next one I'm going to talk about is guardians of the galaxy replacing ellen um never did ellen um never really interested me 
Um, it's tucked out of the way a bit in the park. Guardians of the Galaxy love the two movies. Um, I don't know how Disney have got around the whole Marvel business with the Universal uh, concept and stuff like that. So they've managed to do it somehow. Um, really pleased they have because love the Guardians. Not really heard too much about what kind of ride it's going to be. Obviously, they've mentioned roller coaster, like indoor roller coaster, or whether the building will change. Obviously, they had just that little bit of concept art recently about outside the building, but not. I've not heard too much about what the actual ride is going to be. Um, so that'll be interesting to see what, what happens over that, with that over the next couple of years. Um, Ratatouille coming to the French Pavilion was another one that was announced at D23 really pleased with that not seen not been to disneyland paris since it since it's been there um but friends of ours have and uh they say it's really good um uh, seen footage of it as well on on vlogs and that so um i'm looking forward to doing that once it's in the france pavilion um obviously now with frozen ever after in norway um i think you'll see a few other pavilions get some kind of ride um French Pavilion is the next one to do it. Who knows after that? Um, maybe something else before the 50th anniversary, or maybe they'll wait until afterwards to maybe do much other things as well. We'll just have to watch the space with Disney. Um, the next one, the Pandora. We've spoken a little bit about it on one of our things we're looking forward to. Really looking forward to seeing that. That's been open this year. Um, as I said a minute ago, the flight passage, not sure if I'll be able to, we'll be able to get on it because of the size and the ride vehicle. But looking forward to doing the um, the boat trip, I can't, I can't remember it now, but looking forward to doing that and seeing the immersiveness of Pandora. Um, it's very a very mixed view, some people think it's absolutely incredible. Um, where others are a bit over, underwhelmed by it, uh, so we'll have to wait and see. We both like the first film. Um, not massive, massive fans of it, but it's. Uh, I think because of the length of it, it's you know, it's we're not really massive sci-fi fans. I do. I mean, I love Star Wars, but that's about it for sci-fi. Um, but we'll see. I'm really looking forward to seeing it. Um, Happily ever after replacing Wishes this year. We never got a chance to see Wishes. We saw Holiday Wishes in 2014 when we did the Christmas party, and we really loved that. Um, obviously we've seen vlogs of uh, Normal Wishes um, but we're looking forward to seeing this Happily Ever After uh, with the fireworks and the projection and the issue being um, obviously is that you need a good it's a bit of a strange place you need to be quite close to see the projection stuff but you'd rather be a little bit further back to see more of the fireworks so it's a, it's a bit of a where do you stand kind of thing so um, looking to see that once or twice because obviously we're going at Christmas again so we're going to have Christmas parties into interlaced with it so there's only going to be a couple of days where we're going to be um, in Magic Kingdom when it's normal park day so I'm um, looking forward to, to watching that once possibly twice in the park and then hopefully from California Grill uh, observation deck uh, when we go there towards the end of the holiday. Um, the last one I'm going to talk about today is the new Mickey Mouse ride replacing um, Great Movie Ride. Um, I was, I can't remember the first, I don't know if I saw, um, I don't know if I ever saw the Great Movie Ride in 99. Um, I don't remember seeing it in 2012. I think me and Donna went on it in 2014. Um, it was okay for me. It was a bit outdated. Some of it, the, the Tarzan bit was a bit strange. With just swinging, it looked a bit, you know, it looked a bit 30 years ago. And the other bits of it looked old. Some of the animatronics was really good, but a lot of it was a bit, really needed updating. Um, I know it's all about classic films, but they could have updated it with a few new films. I am sorry to see it go though. Um, even though I wasn't a massive, massive fan on the, on the one, two times I'll be on it. But I loved it. Um, she really enjoyed it. She loved, she loved the, the whole 
whole aspect of it. But I mean, I did I, the, the cheesy bit in the middle when the the person that's riding your vehicle gets off and stuff like that. It's, it's, it's not my kind of thing, but I did like the ride. I think they could have done a lot more with it. Um, a lot more classic Disney kind of movie stuff and that, but not to be. But replacing it, um, it's called was it Mickey and Minnie Runaway Railway. Really looking forward to this. I love Mickey Mouse. Have done for a number of years since I was a kid. The fact there's no Mickey ride in the park is a bit strange. Um, it's been crying out for a number of years for a Mickey ride. Um, unfortunately, the thing that I've, I've heard is obviously it's based around the newer cartoons, which is, I think they're missing a trick. I think they could have done a ride that looked at all aspects. So you start off with the Steamboat Willie, then you go on to the, the, the other kind of classic uh, animations with Mickey in it. You know, Mickey through the ages kind of thing was uh, something that I've heard been put forward a few times. You know, you look at the development of Mickey, not just a matter of it's the new one. Um, don't know what the ride's going to be itself though, whether it's going to be a similar kind of dark ride where you just go through different scenes. Um, obviously they said about this, is it like this, uh, another one, the immersive, immersiveness. You know, being more next level 3D or whatever, it was, whatever they, they've said. It'll be interesting to see. Um, but like I say, Mickey Ride needed it. Um, I would prefer the Mickey Ride in Magic Kingdom. Possibly in, you know, I don't know if you can put it where, where Stitch is, because obviously Tomorrowland doesn't really fit into Tomorrowland. But, you know, Mickey in Magic Kingdom would have been better, but, you know, you've got the meet and greet at the front of the park, the talking Mickey, which I've not done yet. But, um, yeah, and Mickey Ride, top marks. I mean, everything that's been announced recently has been um, really good ride-wise. Um, and result wise the obviously this year when we're going the problem is there's going to be a lot of construction Hollywood Studios is pretty much you know two thirds closed um, with the Muppet Courtyard now changing you know the um, the fountain's gone which we really loved when we were there it's now a flower bed and I think they're going to do something else with it eventually take the Muppet stuff out of it completely um, so Hollywood Studios is gone from, you know, what, what most people thought was a, a day, one day park, maybe a half day park, but maybe one day at the most, you know, apart from the other things I want to see there that are going to take longer is Fantasmic, I'd love to see Fantasmic, and I want to see the, the new fireworks shows, the Jingle Bam, Jingle something, I don't know what it's called now, the Christmas fire display, I'd like to see the Star Wars one, but We'll see if that's going to be on or not. But yeah, the, the new nighttime stuff there, I'm looking forward to seeing. But as far as the day is concerned, there's not much there. Um, Donna's not a huge Tara Tara fan. She wants to go on it this time just because she wants to go over her fear a little bit. But we may or may not go on there. I'd like to go on the Rock and Roll Coaster. Um, but again, because of the harness, can't always get on harness rides because of my size again. Um, I was able to do it in Paris, but that was 15 years ago. Um, I was still big then, but whether I was, I was big, as big then as I am now, I don't know. But, you know, so it would take them two rides out and until the new stuff is built. We'll go and watch Indiana Jones, because um, Donna wants to see that, she's never seen it before. Um, I saw it in 99, but um, you know, we'll, we'll go and see a few things there, but it's going to be a half day park. It's probably going to be like a morning leave and come back for the nighttime stuff. Um, so that's disappointing. The fact it's going to be not much there. Obviously, now they're talking about build, doing some building in Epcot. Um, Ellen, like I say, we would never got to do that anyway. It's not really our kind of, kind of thing. Um, the France Pavilion stuff, I think it's going to, don't think it's going to really. Um, have much impact on it. Um, Ma uh, Magic Kingdom, there's not much construction around the place in Magic Kingdom. Um, the one thing I didn't mention actually was the um, new theatre they're going to build there, which is exciting stuff. Um, no announcements on what's going to go in there yet. 
um, but hopefully that'll be something really amazing. Um, it's moving around the back a little bit, so I said same again. I don't think it's going to really impact on day-to-day -day running of the park and aesthetics of the park. So Magic Kingdom, I think, should be okay. Epcot, a little bit of uh, building and stuff, maintenance, and, but it, you know, um, Hollywood Studios is a big thing. Magic King, Animal Kingdom is pretty much finished now. I think I'd like to see them do more with Dino Land. I think that's a bit of a wasted space. Um, obviously heard as well about there's rumours uh, that they're changing the um, the bit you know, Rafiki's Planet Watch. Uh, I've read rumours that they're going to change that little bit into like a, a Zootopia, Zootropolis kind of um, area. Whether that happens or not, I, it was just a rumour when I heard, I heard it. I don't know if it's been confirmed at all. Um, but yeah, I don't think it's going to be too much in Animal Kingdom. Nothing in Magic Kingdom really. Hollywood Studios is a bit of a bust, um, but the results as well with Caribbean Beach and Coronado Springsville, we're staying under quite heavy construction and renovation at Coronado. Uh, they're probably the most disappointing things for us. There was the, the Coronado thing because obviously we looked when we found out about the the construction because you know we booked it in April last year. There was no talk of construction then. We found out we tried to move, but obviously Caribbean Beach had been announced at that time. So everyone that was at Caribbean Beach had already moved to the Port Orleans um, results, which meant there was limited room available the availability there, and Disney wanted to charge us more to stay there, which we were not willing to do. Colorado Springs is expensive enough as it is. We're not willing to pay more just because we would be disappointed on the way we were treated by Disney a little bit, um, and it did ruin the magic uh, for a while but then we decided it's you know it is what it is um we'll be away from the hotel as much as possible the aesthetics of the place will not be the same as what we looked up and what we watched on vlogs before we booked it um the beauty of the place was one of the things that drew, drew us to it and now it's going to be ruined a bit by construction um this on this beautiful lake they're going to be building a restaurant so there may well be construction starting on the restaurant as well but it is what it is um we get on with it and we enjoy our holiday we're going to enjoy this holiday no matter what it's disney guys you know what i mean i'd stay in a tent on the side of the road to spend time in disney um so we're going to enjoy this holiday. It's going to be a fantastic holiday. There's a lot of new stuff we're looking forward to for our next two trips uh, in 2018, in 2019. We're looking at 2021 as well for the 50, whether we can stretch 2020. Um, um, so yeah, that's it for today, guys. I rambled on for almost 20 minutes. Um, hope you enjoy this little bit of uh, my views on changes coming and already made at Disney um, share your thoughts as well um, you know if you agree or disagree with anything I said just put a comment in um, bear with us guys for with the vlogs um, they may be a little bit boring at times um, just us chatting or our weight loss stuff but the trip is only 13 weeks away you've not got to put up with these ones too much longer and uh, you can start to see our, our first trip um, probably early January we'll start posting that up so in the new year we'll start posting the new trip up thanks for watching guys thanks for subscribing for those that are subscribing and I hope you enjoy guys and have a good week we shall see you Sunday for Wayne see you soon guys bye